Good morning, everyone. How are you? I was pushing my buttons, but they weren't working this morning. Hi, everyone. All right. So question of the day today. If you could choose one cartoon character to be for a day, who would it be? Good morning, Don. Don says Mickey Mouse. Good morning, Dee Dee. Hi, Kenny. Uh, yeah, well, I was looking through the books yesterday and I was just like, you know, because last time we colored a few sections and I think of it kind of like as 30 days of creativity. Where are they? And we did um, a couple of the squares last time. And of course, now I can't find it. Where did I put it? There it is. We did a couple squares last time. So I was thinking this time, why not work on the treats? Let's see. Yeah. I almost said Aaron. It's Aaron. I'm catching myself. See, I'm I'm training my brain, Aaron. I'm training my brain. <laughs> Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Aaron. Let's see. Kenny, would you Cinderella? Okay, okay. Let's see. Hi, B. Scroll on down. Okay. Good morning, Kara. All right. I think I have just about everyone, and welcome to all of you that are coming in. Yesterday, we we're going to be coloring in. <clears throat> oh my goodness! I inhaled and hmm. We're good. We're gonna be coloring in uh, Europa, Rita Berman's book, and we're gonna be coloring the little treats. Hi, Alex. Hi, Lisa. I just wanted to be Jem. Wait a minute, who's Jem? You gotta let me know. I was thinking about it, and I don't want to be Ariel, but I'm thinking one of Ariel's older sisters, but definitely a mermaid. Can you imagine, like, getting to, like, explore the ocean as a mermaid for an entire day? I am down with it. I got my coffee this morning. Um, so <clears throat> I realized I don't have chat up over here. Um, I have a couple, a couple announcements. Hang on one second. I want to pull up chat in front of me here. I realized I didn't do that. Give me one moment. Give everybody a chance to come on in here. All right, here we go. Make sure I'm on live chat. I usually have this up beforehand, but I'm a little scatterbrained this morning. Um, but anyway, so for those of you that have been around for a while, you might remember Umulan. Oh, that's a good one, Kara. Oh, Arn says Moana. Oh, I like Moana too. Um, so let's see. Oh, right. Okay. So tomorrow's the first, right? Well, tomorrow we're going to be releasing the members only drawing page. I actually really like this one. This is the coloring page that will be released, uh, tomorrow for the members. I don't think I'll color it on stream, but I think I am going to color this one. I'm really excited about it. something about a stack of cupcakes. I don't know. Um, but for members, go ahead and check the community tab for that tomorrow. And then let's see. I also so yeah, for those of you that have been around for a little while, uh, you might remember. Thanks, Kenny. You might remember that I said my one my one uh, New Year's resolution. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word was to finish a diamond painting, big or small, because I have like two big uh, diamond art club ones, and then I have two small Arteza ones. Anyway, I finally, hi Chris, I finally finished one. That was a small one, but I did frame it. You can see my lights, but I finished it. In a party, my very first. I'm telling you, it was a push to get it done. I got it done. I finished it in one day. I had this bottom part here to finish up, but I did. I finished it. They came with a sunflower one too. Joanna, hi Joanna, hi Olia. Let's see, Angela, good morning. But yeah, I don't know. I know it's a smaller one. It's like a 12 by 18, but I did in fact finish it. So this one, and the volume turned off for the stream, perfect. So when you buy the Arteza ones, and actually I believe I have an Arteza link in the bottom, maybe not specifically for this, but if uh, if you ever want to use it, it's down there. Um, but it comes in a two pack. So the other one is um, sunflowers, right, Joanna? I know I've had these forever, and like I said, my New Year's resolution was to at least finish one 
diamond painting and i did thank you i mean i guess it's really no surprise like how it's gonna come out because it's you know basically a paint by numbers but it's just the it's like when you do a jigsaw puzzle right it's the satisfaction of having completed the entire thing so and these ones were the round drills i still have one from belinda i want to say i'm like maybe halfway through maybe more good morning sherry uh but anyway and then i have another one from diamond art club that i got that i would love to have finished but it's like a giant one so we'll see in the meantime i can look at this one and feel proud and say i did my new year's resolution and i officially finished an entire diamond painting so that was exciting i wanted to share it with you all hi leslie the other crafty thing i've been doing i know it sounds silly i need to i need to fix this this thread here um but so when I am waiting in the car pickup line to pick up the kids from school, I've started bringing my crocheting with me and I have this 100% cotton and six to finish by the end of the year. See, that's the thing. I could see how easily it could be to purchase more. Like I see them and I want them, but I'm just like, I need to finish the ones that I have. So who knows, maybe when I finish the other two, I'll treat myself to another one. But, um, but anyway, so I've been uh, crocheting washcloths. And so we'll have a, by the end of the school year, we'll have a whole brand new set of washcloths. So that's exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's there's simple things. I can get one of these done in maybe like two hours, depending on the size. Right, Angela? I actually got this one from Hobby Lobby. And I, they just seem very nice kind of fall colors and the teal, very, very complimentary. So uh, this is the third one I finished since the kids started back to school. Because sometimes, you know, I'm not like in the car pickup line, you know, early enough to get a ton done. Hi, Kirsty. But anyway, so those are kind of the announcements that we have. I'll show that uh, members only coloring page a little bit later when everyone gets in here to, again as well. Okay, so. We are using the Mark Art colored pencils today. I was trying to choose a pencil we haven't used in a while and we are gonna work on the treats page. We'll get as many of them done as we can and go from there. I guess I've been like in a, in a treats kind of mood. I'm drawing stacks of cupcakes. We colored the Great British Bake Off. And now we're doing treats. I mean, they're just, they're just so tasty. Funny thing is, is that for um, my advent calendar for Christmas, this one, I forget the name of it, but like I recognize this one. So I do recognize some of these, but we're gonna color them as they're just kind of like, you know, whatever we want. <laughs> you're you're gluten for punishment. I got you. Glutton for punishment. I'm doing one is 102 centimeters long. What is that in, in inches? Aw, thank you. Right? Mark are great. Okay, so let's see where to start today. I want to do I want to start with something bright. Let's go with something pinky ish. Let's do dark rosy purple, rouge red. So dark rosy purple, rouge red and peony pink, I think. Let's see. Oh, right, but they don't have they don't have they just have the numbers. Okay, so we need Oh, I guess I already have dark rosy purple out. And then Rouge Red is number 87. Let's see. Come on, there it is. 87. Ooh, Meredith and Brave. That one's good. Oh, awesome, Dawn. Oh, a crepe. No, it's it's called like a a, a, a crumb cake or something. I think I want to say it's it's Norwegian. This one in particular. Because for the um for the calendar, I did a bunch of research on like, uh, the idea was, not calendar, well, no, I guess it was, like a countdown calendar, um, treats from different parts of the world. 40 inches long, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a good one, Alex, I like that. All right, so we are gonna start with dark rosy purple. Uh, did any of you see the video that, um, sorry, I'm brain slowing this morning uh sarah renee clark did it's the cannoli with chocolate chip i think cannolis are straight all the way down um but anyway did you guys see the uh video by sarah renee clark the uh white marker kind of uh battle i suppose oh elsa because for reason someone annoys me would be fun right i actually briefly thought about elsa i definitely wanted to choose a character that had some sort of superpower i guess and for ariel 
you know, she's a mermaid, but not Ariel, like one of her sisters. Um, anyway, she did this uh, competition thingy of all of her pens and markers and everything. And the funny thing is, is the one that won was actually her Artistro paint pen marker. Although hers was white, so I'm not sure between the difference of ours, but I was just like, well, dang, I got two of those. So I pulled them out and was messing with them yesterday. <laughs> Cinderella, there you go. What about Tinkerbell? I liked the idea of being able to fly. If it wasn't gonna be a Disney cartoon character. Oh, nice, Joanna. If it was gonna be a Disney cartoon character, just a regular Disney character, I honestly might have chosen like Mary Poppins because she can fly. She's practically perfect in every way. And she can make the rooms clean themselves just with a snap of their fingers. Jump into paintings. I'm just saying. I feel like there's a lot of uh, a lot of pluses to being Mary Poppins. Let's see, I'm not sure what this line is. I think it might come from the flower. We're just gonna color over it. So I went to Costco for the first time the other day with a friend in I don't know how long. And I gotta say, it has changed my gluten-free journey. First of all, the flour. I made a Doctor Who shirt design on Tee Public. Oh, nice! Uh, she, that's right, she is a princess. <laughs> um, the flour that I like to get, the King Arthur Measure for Measure, I can get that flour three pounds of it for $9.29 at Target. Well, I went to Costco and they had five pounds of it for $9.49. And I was just like, um, hello. So I got like two bags of them and, and they had gluten-free ciabatta rolls and gluten-free pita bread. And they're both just like flipping delicious. I was just like, ah. Also, I got some leggings there and they're incredibly comfortable. I'm wearing them right now. So I'm thinking. Another trip to Costco in the future is going to be needed. I suppose she is, but I'll be a little judgy if it means I can fly for a day. <laughs> I haven't read the book. No, is the book considerably different? All right, back in the day, exactly. I would say I wouldn't mind her watching my kids, but you know, I'm a little concerned that they're running around on rooftops a little bit but I'm sure she would keep them very safe. Okay, let's do the sides here. Sounds good, Kara. Oh, it's very different. How different is it? Please don't tell me Mary Poppins is like evil in the book. I feel like that would, that would damp, dampen things a little bit, unless she actually is evil in the book. Maybe in, in that case, I should know. We're still just using number 82, the dark rosy purple. Yeah, well, I figure, you know, we didn't do Rita Berman for so long. We got to get more of her, uh, more of her pages in here. Make up for lost time. That is true, but is Superwoman Disney? Because it has to be Disney. Oh, there's four books in this series? Sorry, I went out of the line a little bit. wanted to fix it. And I also put cartoon because I knew that saying just Disney would also include Star Wars. Because Star Wars is Disney now. I don't know. You know what I rewatched the other day on Disney? Uh, on Disney Plus was uh, Aven Avengers Endgame. It's so good. It's so good. The end scene where everybody comes through. Like, it still gets me. Like, I choke up. Oh, she's harsher in the books. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it has to be Disney. And a Disney cartoon, not just not just any Disney. Oh my gosh, can you imagine what Doctor Who would turn into if Disney bought Doctor Who? There'd be a lot more musical episodes. Why is coffee so good? <laughs> I've started drinking it half calf, and so it's made it to where I can start drinking it again in my hands. Don't get too. Uh, too shaky. Although, I don't know. I was trying to film that reel yesterday, the one where I put the stickers on uh, my iPad, and my hands were all over the place. Thankfully, they were like short clips, so I could kind of like edit around it. Uh, Steve, if you could choose one cartoon Disney character to be for a day, who would it be? And I said cartoon, so you can't choose Star Wars. 
Unless, I guess, I suppose there's the, uh, the Clone Wars cartoon. So there's that. But yeah, the idea is a cartoon Disney. I chose one of uh, Ariel's uh, mermaid sisters so that I could be a mermaid for a day and not be a 16 year old that talks back to her parents. Okay. Is it less enjoyable then? I never really understood like when the kids were going to bed and they were talking, you know, about when they went on the uh, the carousel and jumped in the painting and she pretended like she didn't understand. Does the book explain why she does that? Or is it just she doesn't want the children like telling all the other adults and you know, like thinking that she's crazy or something? Hey, Super Steve, Mr. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Is that are the Incredibles Disney? I'm not sure if they were Disney. <laughs> swim like a mermaid. There you go. I mean, I can swim, but I'm talking like if you were a mermaid, you could go like deep sea and like explore. Although, although theoretically, if mermaids existed, they would be limited to how deep they could swim, right? I mean, because what we, you know, with any kind of, with any kind of fish of sorts, like they can't die, you know, they can't swim too deep. Otherwise the pressure, some stuff can live down there. Hmm. Unless Disney bought out Pixar, which I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know if they have. Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe there's a, a deep sea mermaid. I mean, it's a whole city full of mermaids. Surely there's variations on mermaids, right? Well, if I wasn't going to choose a mermaid, I would choose something that can fly. I'm going to have a line again. <laughs> I would choose something that could fly. Like maybe Tinkerbell. The kids would love it if I was Tinkerbell for a day. We'd all go flying around. All right, now we're gonna use number 12, which is the peony pink. Oh, and for those of you who weren't here on Friday, I updated the downloads uh, portion of my website to include um, eight new charts and, or er, nine new charts? I think it was nine. Anyway, handful of new charts um, with more on the way. And then tomorrow, I'll be releasing the new members coloring page. Let's see, I feel like we need, let's get, let's get deep teal. That is true. She could always hitch a ride. That is true. Okay, deep teal is number 55. Plus she has a lion, or not lion, a tiger for a pet. So, you know. Right, Tinkerbell. Uh, thanks, Kenny. All right, deep teal. Number, what did I say it was? It was number, number 55. There it is. I suppose this could have been green because it's got a four leaf clover on the top, but that's cool. How are you, Julie? Let me give this a quick sharpen. How's everybody's week been? Oh my goodness. Ev, if you're lurking, I'm sorry. My sharpener's full again. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, a little bit of this teal here. There we go. Good news is little Steve is feeling better. He was only sick for about a day. No COVID or anything. So that's encouraging that he got better so quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Julie, if you could be any cartoon Disney character for a day, who would you be? Still working on my uh, Dragon Reborn book. That one's probably going to be working on it for a while. But I have my little sticky note list of all the uh, book names that you guys suggested. So I know which direction to go. I think I'll probably do the uh, Game of Thrones books next. Oops. Did I do that? No, we're good. Okay. All right, let's get our little blender here. Joanna, 
These treats are making me hungry. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna! Exclamation point heart in chat with Joanna and use those handy dandy high fee modes. Hello! Thank you, Joanna! I appreciate you! So we're going, yeah, it has to be Disney. It has to be Disney. <laughs> oh, it's a crumb cake. Okay. Oh, this one is? This one that we're coloring? I think I imagined it was like, oh, no, no, this, this, this thing here. This one. Yes, that's what I thought. That's what I was thinking. Snow White. Okay, that's fair. Does Snow White ever actually, like, she talks to the animals. I guess she understands up to that. I think if we could choose a uh, superpower for Snow White, it would be being able to talk to animals, right? I'm trying to think, like, do any of the other princess, you know what movie I haven't seen? It's the one with um, Princess Tiana. I should probably watch that. Because, I mean, she's listed right up there with all the other Disney princesses, and I have yet to watch that one. There we go. Kids have been watching Lilo and Stitch lately. Oh, Merlin from the Sword and the Stone. Oh, I like that tech gal. Goofy or dopey because they have tons of less stress. <laughs> oh, Merlin, I like that. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, cream filling. Right, it is. All right, let's get a little bit of green here. Let's do jade green and paraclete green. So that is 46 and 44. Okay, 46 and 44. Here we go. Uh, the colors were, so the darkest color was number 82. It was the dark rosy purple. And then it was number 87, the rouge red. And then it was number 12, peony pink. And then the green was the deep teal, number 55. Yeah, teal green for highlights. Mm -hmm. Well, shadows. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to use the jade green and parakeet green for the little, the little clover. There we go. Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> you can't take any of his wealth with him, Steve. Lobster rolls loaded with cream. That's funny. Oh, you're good. Just assumed you were like really excited about the movie. It's a really cute movie. <laughs> like I just imagine any like whenever like caps are used. I know sometimes like in the streams like uh, it's requested to use caps to notice, but I can't help it. Like when I see caps and I read it. Like, in my head, it's yelling. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. I, I read through the lines. Did everybody have a good weekend? Good first half of the week? That was kind of like a sigh of relief when it reaches Wednesday, because it's like only a couple more days to the end of the week. All right, now we're going to use the parakeet green. I'll tell you, we did have the last couple days that we had some yesterday, man, with some serious rain and lightning and everything. It was so loud. Paul spent most of the day hidden. He does not do well. Pastry fund. These treats are making me <laughs> Why hungry. is everyone yelling? Exactly. You want to know what it's like to swim in cold coins? I suppose so. I have a hard time imagining that Scrooge doesn't get, like, bruised from diving into the sea of coins. I'm just, I'm going to stick with my mermaid stuff. <laughs> right, Kenny? My Madeleine was another, oh, Aristocat. Yeah, okay. Well off, cats, good friend. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. The the scene where the, the lawyer or whatever is going up the stairs. I remember when I was younger, like that just cracked me up. Oh, Edgar. Okay, so that's one treat. One treat done. All right, let's move on to whatever this one is. I imagine that it's sort of a brown. It has to be a brown, right? Let's see, what do we have for browns here? Oh, there's not a lot of light browns in this set, is there? 
Hmm. I think we're going to utilize gold a little bit, actually. And there's dark gold. Yeah, let's use dark brown, dark gold, and gold, I think. Evelyn! Hello, Evelyn. How are you? All right, let's see. Dark brown is going to be number 83. 83. And then dark gold is number 59. And then gold is number 73. Now it's interesting. I guess dark gold does have a little bit of a metallic shine on it. They're a little bit metallic-y, but I don't know how metallic-y they are. Oh, I'm sorry, my sharpener's full. I haven't emptied it. <laughs> Good. Rixie is cute. All right, we're gonna give these a quick sharpen here. And I think we might use a little bit extra brown on top of the, or underneath the lattice, but this may end up being a lot of the same color. So dark brown, dark gold, and gold. Yeah, they're nice there. I would consider them a budget color pencil. They're only like 30 something for the set. And there's 120 of them. Um, there are some duplicate names, but pencil look wise, they remind me of the Artezas, but I think the Artezas are, are a little bit better. Hi, Palma. Um, now that we've got a few more people in here, just a quick reminder tomorrow, because I think tomorrow's the first, um, the new uh, members coloring page. So if you're a member, um, look for this tomorrow. A little, little coffee and cupcakes picture. Thinking I'm gonna do like um, uh, the alcohol markers with them. Good morning, Della, how are you? Yeah, they look a lot like Arteza's, a lot like it. Okay, so we're gonna use the dark brown first. I think I have a little bit more, a little bit more of the dark brown on this one. And we will on the lattice. Nice, Bonnie. Don't you love that organizational kind of feeling? Funny thing is, is I just cleaned the office like from top to bottom. Not this past Monday, but the Monday before. Everything was all clean already. I just like every, like all my Johanna books are out. All the pencil cases, like a bunch of them. I'm just, I'm terrible with putting things back after I get them all out. So I'm gonna have to do like a deep clean and get everything situated. Yeah, it gets to the point where you just need to clear to neutral, start over, it's too much clutter. Ooh, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. But I haven't tried the whole bind, so I will take her word for that. All right, so we're just using the dark brown. Um... I don't, like, I like them. I like them, but if you, like, already have like Artezas or, you know, depending on how many pencils you have. Um, if it's part of a collection thing, then I say, yeah, you could definitely use the mid -ring. If you wanna see, I haven't done like a full-blown review of them, um, but Sarah Renee Clark did, and they work surprisingly well. They're very soft. They definitely aren't a pencil that I go, man, I wish I didn't have these. Like, they're pretty good. Right, Leslie? Yes, Alex, she will. Yeah, over on, um, unfortunately, I won't be able to go because I have an appointment I have to be at and then I have to go um, pick up little Steve, but I'm going to watch it back later. Um, over on the Johanna Basford, your pages uh, Facebook group, um, Suzanne is going to be interviewing um, Johanna. So if you are part of that group or want to be part of that group, I would go check it out. But that is where they will be. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the dark gold now. Duchess from Aristocats, I like it. Hi, Autumn. <laughs> Kenny. Well, if you wanna check them out, the link for them uh, is in the description below. All right, so we're gonna use the dark gold in some areas here. We're gonna go over the dark brown just a little bit. We might grab a little bit of like a warmer orangey color just to warm it up just a little bit. Actually, you know, might be good. Raw umber. That is going to be number 20. Yes. 
Everybody wants to be a cat because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Exactly. That's right, it did. You are correct. Now it's gonna be stuck in my head. Everybody wants to be a cat. All right, I'm gonna finish up using the dark gold here just so that everything stays consistent. Oh, we're rinky dinky dinky. <laughs> the Johanna Basford Your Pages group. They reached 30,000 uh, 30, members. So to celebrate, they are interviewing um, interviewing Johanna. Let's see. Trying to keep the shadows consistent here. Mm. There we go. I'll be curious to know when she's planning um, like a flip through of the book. I'm really curious to see it. Okay. Yeah, 4 p.m. UK time. Did you really, Ev? Oh, that's funny. Uh, in the actual group, yeah. So I would just uh, put, a, put a request in to join the group and... Um, Hopefully they should be able to get, I don't know how quickly, how quick their approval process is. Um, but uh, yeah, it should hopefully go pretty quick. I might be able to at least lurk during it because um, the appointment that I have is an online appointment. So fingers crossed. Okay, um, we're gonna add a little bit of the, what was this one again? This was raw umber. Oh, awesome, Bonnie. Right? It's good. Okay, we're gonna use warm, some raw umber though to kind of warm this up just a little bit. Cool. All right, we're gonna do a little bit in between the lattice. I might grab just a little bit of red too. I don't want this to get completely muddy. Which, considering it's brown too, I suppose it could get muddy pretty easily because mud is brown. <laughs> there we go. And let's grab reddish brown. Reddish brown, which is number 115. Reddish brown. There we go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's use our blender on top. Yeah, 10, 10 a.m. Central Time. Yep. It was nice actually, Johanna or um, Suzanne. So Suzanne's interviewing her, um, but she was actually able to meet her recently at an event that they had up there. So that was pretty cool. Yes, in the actual Facebook group. Okay, let's do this next one. Let's do, let's do some blue, yeah? Let's do dark blue, number 106. Boss changed my tag color in our company to brown. I was so upset. Asked him if he saw me as dog dude. Oh no! They were only $16.99? Wow. I wonder, I wonder what the price jump was for then. That's literally almost like double in the world of raised prices. That's really high. Oh my gosh. I wonder if they changed their formula to make it worth the higher price. Because now it just makes me wonder if, if you know, it's a little bit of price gouging. <laughs> All right, so this one is number 106, and that is the dark blue, and we're gonna get lake blue. Good morning, Silva, how are you? Lake blue is number 35. Okay. Wonder how many of these treats we'll get done today. 
Yeah, that's double. That's crazy. I mean, they're still good quality. I don't feel like I'm overpaying for them when I'm paying the 30 something, but I'm wondering if the boom in adult coloring allowed them to up their price. I'd be really curious to know what that process was. Oh yeah, so I'm trying to force my, so I've got, um, I've got this whole drawer of my blender. So I do have some long ones, but as you can see that I have a tendency to put the nubbins to the side when I get down to the nubbins. And so I am trying to force myself to use them. I could put it in a pencil extender, but honestly, when I tighten it and stuff, like it starts to wear it, it and then they kind of spin. It just doesn't work as well when I'm tightening and untightening it when I repeatedly. This one's the shortest one. But um, I don't know. I should probably try and see if I could just super glue them all together. But yeah. Well, I stocked up on them when they said decided they were going to quit carrying the two pack of full blenders. Yeah, maybe it was an intro price. It definitely has. Yeah, it's a nubbin. It's the little baby blender. So yeah, I'm just trying to consistently use up the nubbins. Cause that's like a couple whole blenders all put together. That's what I'm thinking. Will it stick, you think? I know that like you can put super glue on some things, but if it's not like a porous surface, like it doesn't stay as well. Yeah, so they used to, so they changed to the pencil blenders and no, I haven't because I'm stubborn that way and I like my long ones. I feel like you get more for it. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Oh, hi, Shannon. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're also gonna grab sky blue, which I believe is number 38. Oh, nail glue. Ah, okay, okay. What are the blenders for? Um, they help to smooth out the tooth of the paper and up the vibrancy of the page. Like, I, I love them so much. Like, I don't think I could, I mean, I could do coloring without it, and I have, and I would if I had to, but if I don't have to, I don't want to. <laughs> that you just push the pencils in, but it still grips the signs. And so like, do I have an example of any of them in here? I'm trying to see. Okay, yeah, actually, this nubbin one is a good example. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in so you guys can... Are you gonna focus for me? Here, let's focus on my hand first. There we go. Okay, try not to... You guys can see how much I shake when I'm this close. Okay, so do you see, like, the little chunks that are taken out of the tiny, tiny blender? That's from tightening a pencil extender around it. And so eventually then, because I'll take it out to sharpen it, it'll loosen because it keeps getting chunks taken out because of the blender. There we go. There we go. But anyway, that's what happens when I put it in the pencil extender. Yeah, I love the Karen Dash blenders. They're amazing. Okay, uh, let's see. Number 35, Lake Blue. But yeah, it really helps to smooth out the tooth of the paper and it just ups the vibrancy and yeah, it's really good. What's E6000? Oh, it's a glue. Okay, okay, okay. All right, number 38. So basically you see what this is here. Is that as close as we can get? Yeah. And then I'll take the blender goop. Oh, okay, cool. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna smooth out the tooth and darken it up just a bit. It's not doing it a ton on this one, but enough that it makes it worth it. Yeah, very, very tiny, really good glue. Okay, good. You have to order it online or can you just pick it up at like a hardware store or like Target or Walmart? I'm gonna use the, um, what was this? The dark blue again real quick. It's a little bit darker. Yeah, but seriously, that Costco, that changed my, I know I'm kind of jumping all around. It's like what it's like inside my brain. I jump topics all the time. That Costco, 
has changed my gluten-free experience for sure. I mean, pita bread and ciabatta rolls. Uh, yes, please. Um, let's see. Let's do a little bit of... Hmm, maybe a little bit of green, green filling on top. Okay, cool. For jewelry, get on Amazon or any other craft store. Perfect. Well, I will take a look at that for sure. Let's do light cream. Oh, actually, let's do light cream and jasmine yellow. That could work. Light cream and jasmine yellow, which is number 69. There we go. Let's put a little bit of that green there. I mean, who doesn't like a page full of treats, right? Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and use the jasmine yellow over that light cream a bit. I feel like we'll need to use some gel pen on these little dots. Okay, and then we're going to blendy blend blend. Smooth everything out, just a, just a touch. Okay, and then let's grab, let's grab, I'm looking at the color chart here. Um, let's grab, actually, let's get our peony pink and the jasmine yellow. <laughs> uh, thanks, Julie. It's a fun thing about when you're coloring treats like this too, you can kind of just go crazy, like bright colors, make it whatever you want. When is the um when is the color cube supposed to come out? I know that's got to be coming soon. I didn't get one, but I do know that it's coming soon. I know there's a lot of people pretty excited about it. There we go. Okay, and then the jasmine yellow. They're still in production. Okay. Hi Annette, how are you? Now, I actually want to break out my a prism color white. Let's see, do I have one that's sharpened? It'll work. Okay. And I want to do white over this. And actually, I wonder, let's see, does this need to be primed at all? I shook this up pretty good yesterday. Where is my sticky note? Hang on, we can zoom out for just a second. I'm just testing, testing this white. I had it going yesterday. So I realized that was the issue with the Arteza one, why it wasn't working, because I didn't shake it up enough. Do you use the blender to darken and the white to lighten? Yeah, pretty much. If I want it to look lighter than it is, then I'll use the Prismacolor white and that'll make it more uh, pastel. My home address, I just wanna put my home address in chat. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's better. All right, so now we're gonna zoom back in. Make sure this is in focus. Brighten that up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so the white acts as a sort of blender as well, but also lightens it when you maybe have something that's a little too saturated. It's really nice when you're doing like skin tones and such. There you go, now it's flowing well. I'll look up in chat here in just a second. There we go. Just a little bit of white. All right, and then let's do... <laughs> right? There's no one scary on the internet whatsoever. No, no need to be concerned. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Okay. 
I know I feel you on that Evelyn because when I heard about it too and then I went and watched Frugal Crafter my own mind was blowing I was just like wait what although although I had an idea so you remember how I said that I filled one with acrylic and one with gouache after watching um why is that blinking on you guys has it been blinking black a ton or was that just my phone say I have any drop frames I don't know what it's doing anyway I think it's just YouTube being weird um there is a white ink mine that I have is dried but it is a Winsor and Newton no it's a no what is it it's an anyway it's a white India ink and it does great for covering lines and I almost wonder what if I put the India ink in the Posca pens do you think it would work I mean it's thin enough I need to order some of that and test it out like go ahead because I could clean out like these are all water based so I could just clean these out <laughs> I'm creepy as heck I could clean those out and try the India ink in it because I mean that's going to be a heck of a lot more opaque than um than just white paint acrylic ink with flow medium okay okay didn't bleak black here okay then it's probably just my phone being weird OBS doesn't even say that I have any drop frames, but I was just like, uh, wait a minute. Okay, cool. So that's that one. <laughs> uh, you guys crack me up. Okay, so moving on. I don't know what this is. Anybody have a guess? I'm going to guess it's like a chocolate of some kind. We're coloring it like a chocolate. So let's use cocoa brown. Cocoa brown and... Shows different inks and talks about how they work in some pens. If I recall, oh yeah, Maryland, definitely. Because that'd be the only reason I'd buy it. I suppose if it didn't work, I could just dump it back into it. Okay, so let's do cocoa brown and chocolate brown. So that's going to be number 31. Sometimes these little illustrations are just perfect for it. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you try it, let me know. But yeah, I'm thinking that I'm gonna order some so that I can test it out. Cause that might be less, less cumbersome than the acrylic ink. It makes me wish I had more of these smaller ones. Although, you know what I could do? Cause I do have a set of different colored ones. Theoretically, I could clean out like a yellow one or something and put white in it, right? Perhaps. Okay, so let's start with, this one is Cocoa Brown. There we go. Sounds good, Brittany, thanks for being here. Okay, it's got some stripes in here. We'll make those a different color, but these are gonna be the Cocoa Brown. There we go. I think we should do like a red alongside that. Uh, do any of you watch uh, Dee Dee in the morning, Dee Dee Willingham? A lot of times when I'm getting ready for stream on Wednesday mornings, I'll watch her. Uh, kind of gets me gets me in the right frame of mind for streaming, you know, first thing in the morning. Well, her daughter was on with her today, and they were showing a painting. And at one point, I think it was Dee Dee, she put her finger through this, through this uh, I don't think it was painting. I think it was a drawing that she's had since the 80s, and she was just racking up laughing meanwhile everyone in her chat and her and her daughter was just like mortified it was hilarious uh we are using the mark art color pencils i also got empty paint pens since i didn't have any empty poscos and that's what i used for my experience oh nice what brand of uh paint pens were they okay so now we're gonna go ahead and use the chocolate brown she's always got something fun going on if you're not following dd you should she streams a few times a week she kind of does multi multi craft stuff but she is entertaining to watch there we go and then let's use hi emily you'd want to be the Ch the cheshire cats so i could live in wonderland i don't know man wonderland freaks me out another hat i saw thanks to tammy was jumping that didn't work she cut it off in off in and pull the ink out into a real container and uses a paintbrush to put the oh there you go that works all right let's see let's use 
Let's grab Sienna Brown. Sienna Brown, that is number... There's two Sienna Browns. Okay, Sienna Brown number 99. That's the only thing is that some of the uh, pencils are labeled the same thing. Go. Oh, okay, number 99. Just the tip was smaller. They came with ball bearings to help mix the paint you shake it with. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's, I don't know, do the smaller? Do I have any of those smaller Posca? Ah, I, think, I don't think I'm out. But yeah, these ones have the ball bearings. But I just put the water and paint directly into the Posca pens. Um, directly into the Posca pens and just shook it up that way. Might have not been the best. It wouldn't, it maybe didn't let me keep it as consistent as I would have liked. All right, Sienna Brown. But I mean, it worked. Here's your Sienna Brown. Okay, let's use the blender real quick. Okay, and then let's use, I want a dark red. So I think garnet red and orange red, I think would be good. So let's see. Uh, see, are we still doing okay? Since YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I wonder why that is. It doesn't say that I have any dropped frames. I'm gonna blame YouTube for this one. It's being funky. Um, okay, so Garnet Red, which is number 18. Number 18, it's fine, okay. Ah, uh, thanks, Kenny. And let's see, what did I say? Let's use orange red, is that what we want? Yeah, dark red and orange red. No issues, okay, cool. I mixed a little cup container and right consistency, I poured it into the empty pen. See, there you go. Okay, good. Yeah, I think YouTube's just being funky because now it's telling me I have an excellent connection. I don't I don't think YouTube knows what's going on most of the time. <laughs> it's like, I think, I think we're having connection issues, but I'm not sure. Okay. Isn't this the latest coloring book, Brittany? Europa? Does she have another one that came out? I haven't missed a frame here. Okay. All right. So we're going to use the Garnet Red, which is the number 18. And I've only, I haven't even colored a full page in this one yet. Now, if it was a Johanna book, that'd be something different. I got to have like three copies of those. But to be fair, I've never finished an entire book before. Okay. Oh, a new book called Asia. Gotcha. Now nah, I just got this one. I'm good with this one for a while. All right. And then we're going to use the um, orange red. Appreciate it though. Orange red. Oh, 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 oh. I was going to show you guys. Do you remember me talking about that pinkest pink pigment? Oh, it's unavailable. Hi, Diane. Check this out. Okay. So have you heard of like the blackest black pigment? Let's get it. Are you going to focus? There we go. Have you heard of the blackest black pigment? So this is supposed to be the pinkest pink pigment. I haven't decided what kind of video I'm going to create with it yet, but here's, here's the idea. So do you know how sometimes when we color, I say like, this isn't how it looks in real life. Like it always looks a little bit different. It is so pink. Is there a release date for Rooms of Wonder yet? Uh, yes, there is in October something or other, but uh, the link for it is in the description below and that'll let you know. But yes, it is planned to be released in like a month and a half. Are you laughing at me? Um, something, I know it's October. Gosh, gosh. You hear me showing pink paint? Okay. <laughs> so the idea is, is your whatever camera you're looking at has a limited capability to to uh, show you to show you colors. 
Um, kind of like you can't look directly at the sun because you'll burn your eyes, but you can look at a picture of the sun. And that is because it is limited to the amount of color levels that it can show you. So the idea with this is that cameras cannot truly show you how bright this pink actually is. But I mean, I'm just looking at the computer screen and this thing is like flipping fluorescent, man. But the thing of it is, is that's still not as pink as it is. Like, it's almost like, I struggle to like look at it. Um, but the idea is you guys can't actually see just how pink it is, but it is a powder pigment. So we could add water to it or another, uh, like uh, acrylic medium. What were you gonna say? The, the camera does not do it justice. Yeah, it really like, doesn't. I mean, it is so pink. I mean, it's pretty saturated on screen, but it's, I mean, look, you can even see like the glow, like you can see it's reflecting off my hand but it is literally like the pinkest pink. So I want to think of a, of a craft or something for us to do with it, but like, yeah, this stuff is pink. <laughs> it's like glowing practically, and it's not a glow. It's not like a, a glow pink, but yeah, this is the pinkest pink pigment. Anyway, it's pretty cool. We'll have to figure out something to, uh, to do with it for sure. All right, so let's see, where were we? We're gonna use the dark, or no, let's see. We have cocoa brown and chocolate brown, and then the sienna brown. So let's see. Uh, cocoa brown is the 31. Yeah, I'd love to also. Yeah, absolutely, Aaron. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm trying to think which, um, like you could probably mix it with a white. It would definitely tone it down a little bit. If you do a um, fluid medium, like an acrylic fluid medium, or I guess you can mix it with oil too, but it's just basically a powdery pigment. So like, I even wondered like, could I put it in polymer clay? I probably could, honestly. Oh yeah, we will definitely have a flip. Um, hopefully, I haven't heard anything yet, but I assume that she'll probably send out the um, uh, promotional boxes at some point. Um, which means that hopefully we could have um, a sneak peek of it before it's actually released, but I haven't heard anything about if she's sending. She usually does, but I never assume that she's going to um, send some out automatically, but ideally we'll be able to see that. Right, Ev? Exactly. I'm almost wishing it would have come in before I sent her her little pink plunger. I could have painted this on it. Can you imagine? So pink. And the thing of it is, is I think it, it dries matte as well. Um, and so like, there's no like glare off of it. Okay, so now we're gonna use that garnet red. But yeah, it is brilliantly pink. It's so cool. All right, let's see, let's do this here. And then Right, it's gonna it's gonna look so cool. Like it's I'm I'm loving like the fabric pages. I love that she's got like a mix of different things in there. Okay, there's that. Then we've got this area. I think I feel like it's like a paper or something. So let's do let's do cocoa brown and red. Yeah, I think it's gonna be one of her best ones. I mean, as it is, it was actually really interesting. I did a poll. Uh, recently and asked people what their favorite Johanna book is of all times and um, Worlds of Wonder uh, blew it out of the park for popularity and so if that's people's favorite book I can't even imagine how people are gonna feel about the new Rooms of Wonder yeah no not yet yeah Rooms of Wonder is gonna be her newest book coming out in October um, and she'll probably start the flip throughs and the marketing for that soon. But if we do end up getting it early, we'll definitely be doing some flip throughs and color alongs with it and everything. Yeah, not yet, not yet. Well, was it that just like, pfft, like she kind of flipped it? Cause she did that one on Instagram too, but she hasn't done just to sit down and flip through it one at a time to let us look, has she? I thought we were still waiting on that. 
the reddest red and the purple, purpliest purple, bluest blue. They have, there's yellow, green, pink, and blue, I believe. And then they have some whites and they have a blackest black. Yeah, October 25th. So starting at the beginning of October, we'll probably see a lot more for it. Okay, so orange, red, number six. We go over that cocoa brown. I'm really excited about it though. I think it's gonna be really good. And I'm gonna go a little bit darker on one side here. Yeah, that's, yeah, I definitely got a glimpse of some of the pages, but. And she usually, if I remember correctly, she usually releases at least a page of it for people to color. Although, although that Archie Foundation, I think one of those was a newer picture as well. So she did release the Archie Foundation pictures. Um, I think the page that had the dragon on it was a new one for that. Unless she colored that one just for the Archie Foundation. I'm not entirely positive. I, have, I would have to go back and look at her post. Oh, absolutely, I will. I also, someone asked me, I can't remember who it was, but the last time Johanna had a book come out, we did me streaming for a week straight to color her stuff. Would you guys want to do that? Another like full week, everyday streaming? Obviously just for a week, like I said, but to celebrate the release of her book, do we want to do an everyday stream? Because depending on how that lines up with the kids' schedules, I might be able to do that. Are you using new colors that you don't normally use? You mean on this page or just in general? Yeah, Culture Hustle. Yep, that's where it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like six months, right? We'll be doing a lot of it. Just be prepared. Yes, 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 we do. Okay, I will look at the schedule and see who's streaming during those times. Because what I'll probably do... Let's see, let's go ahead. and We're doing the red Sleechy Metallic Gel Pen. Um, it'll probably be daytime streams. Because that's going to be... That's going to be easiest with the kids in school and everything. I like to be there for them when they can get there in the evening. If I did that every night, that'd be difficult. So we could do we could do some morning streams and figure out what is the because I think we also did it at a different time. Also, like I think I did them earlier. But yeah, we could do so if October 25th. Every day stream. OK. All right. October 25th. That falls on a Tuesday. So we could stream every morning, the 18th through the 25th and do just like a week, a week of jo uh, Johanna Rooms of Wonder Marathon. That could be cool. Right up until the release date. I don't know. I think for that week, it would probably be all mornings because think of it this way. If I did a Friday night stream and if we end up needing to do like an eight o'clock stream, which I know Alex is super early for you, but what I have to do, because there's a lot of other people that stream at like 10 in our, in our community. So I would need to choose a time that wouldn't overlap too many people. And I think 8 a.m. is generally a pretty, a pretty good time. So I'll need to, Shannon, I'll probably get with you at some point because you're most familiar with what everybody's doing these days um, and figure out who's doing what. And if I clear it with them beforehand, maybe we can make an adjustment because 10 would be nicer. But my, what I'm saying is that if I'm up late, it's gonna be harder for me to get up early to stream the next day. So I will probably keep the times consistent to, to, make, it, to make it work. Okay, I think I'm done with that chocolate one. It looks so chocolatey. <laughs> Plus, that'll be fun leading right up to right up to Halloween. Okay, let's do this little thing. What is this? What would you, it's gotta be a, you know, we're making it whatever color we want. Let's see, What's, what should we do? Should we do like yellow or orange? We could do another blue or a mix. We could do a mix. We could do purple and blue. Let's do amethyst purple and lavender. Well, and that's the thing too, when you have so many people from all over the world, it is literally impossible to try and find a time that works best for everyone. 
So I want to say that last time I did that, I did it at 8 a.m. And don't get me wrong, that's a little bit, little bit rough to be doing that right at 8 a.m. But I also have to work around school schedules, so 8 a.m. might not be practical. I will get back with you. Like I said, I will um, touch base with Shannon and we'll look at the calendar and see who's doing what. And then, like I said, if I talk to the people far enough in advance, let's see, let's get gold and yellow, number five, or number 50 that I might be uh, overlapping. I think most everybody's pretty understanding if it's for a special event, because it's usually just a one-off, you know, where we overlap or shift shift things, you know, special events. Um, okay, and then let's grab, let's see, that is golden yellow, and then let's get lemon yellow, number 49. Iridescent candy pearls, there you go. Well, we're gonna make them purple and yellow because it's complimentary. <laughs> and then don't forget let's see tomorrow is the first yes so for those of you that are members your free coloring page will be going up tomorrow i'll give you guys another uh peek at it before we end stream here all right so we're gonna use the this is the amethyst purple mm -hmm. but yeah it should be fun I'm excited for it, for sure. And streaming every day, that's gonna allow us to, I think, finish, finish an entire page. We probably won't like choose giant layouts because I wanna be able to do at least three different pages with you all in that week's time. I mean, that's seven days straight. So I think um, if we choose the right pages, like the, the clothes page, I think it's gonna be really cool. But I know there's more food pages and everything. You're the only other morning, only morning other than Dee Dee. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, because there's not too many other morning streamers currently. I know there were at one point, but you know, some people have either stopped or they've changed their schedule or whatever else. So yeah, we can, we can take a look at that. Because even if that means like doing it a little bit later, I just have to work around pickup time for the kids and everything else. Or maybe move it to like nine o'clock or something. Can we use Ergo stuff? I say go for it. Oh, Sheila. Hi, Missy. Welcome back. Oh, I feel like I got a sneeze coming on. Maybe not. Yep, that was definitely a sneeze. <laughs> Yeah, she's on early, 5.30 a.m. Pacific time. Well, and like Dee Dee and I don't necessarily stream the same things. And it, like even as it is when I stream regularly on Wednesdays, like today, I think she and I overlap a little bit. So I don't think that's too, too big of a deal. Well, and then there's the weekends too, but we'll figure it out. Either way, I, I agree. I think that would be fun. Just a week straight of streaming every day. The funny thing is, is I seem to remember the last time we did that, I kind of got used to streaming every day and it was almost like a sad thing when uh, when you, uh, when you we stopped. It was like, oh, it's not an every morning thing. But I just remember it was a lot of fun when we did it and everybody really seemed to enjoy it. So I think, I think a celebratory everyday stream would be good. There we go. Oh, I posted um, I posted my first talk tick, TikTok. I don't know, I don't really I, I call it a TikTok, but honestly it was just the, let's see, number 14, the lavender. It was just the, uh, I'm reposting the reels that I posted on Instagram on TikTok. I have a, a whopping five followers. Oh wait, hold on. Whopping five followers on TikTok. It's very exciting. <laughs> I just figure I'll slowly repost the stuff until I've got like a full page of stuff posted, but you know, slowly, slowly build that up. And then at some point I'll announce on Instagram, like, Oh guys, I have a TikTok. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I should at least try and explore that market. Okay. So I'm just doing the amethyst and the lavender. Hi, Catherine. How are you? 
Yes, currently my schedule is just uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays are, it's at 10 a.m. U.S. Central Time and Fridays are at 8.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. I used to do Mondays as well, but between work and the kids and everything, I had to I had to scooch back a day. It just I didn't have enough time to do everything. Ah, uh, thanks, Pamela. And how are you? Okay, so now we're gonna use fifty, which is the golden yellow. But yeah, this is if you're looking for Johanna content, then this is definitely a place to be. It is. When a new book comes out, it is all Johanna all the time. You'll probably get sick of it. <laughs> I like these complimentary colors. It's very, very happy candy. Can we do watercolor? I don't know. Are you screen like, uh, yes. So Wednesdays t at 10 o'clock U.S. Central Time, Fridays at 8.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on what we do next. I honestly have not decided yet. I actually have been brainstorming ideas for a, a painting that I want to do. Not not a coloring page, but like an actual painting painting. Um, some of you might have seen on uh, Instagram, I posted. Sorry, I was just using that lavender real quick. Uh, I posted that painting. That didn't happen. Um, I posted that painting where I use the polymer clay on it and I've been trying to brainstorm how to use that again and kind of expand that. And so I have some ideas for a cool kind of 3D painting that I could make. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I like to have my fingers in all the things. Okay, and then we're gonna do number 49, Lemon Yellow. And I am doing these two colors together because purple and yellow are complementary colors. So they go well together. There we go. Little, little purple candy. Now if we wanted to, let's get a little bit of indigo. Indigo, indigo, indigo. Let's see, and indigo is number 33. Here we go. Okay. Hi, Anna, welcome. Yes, there are. I saw that uh, Corey, Corey posted one recently that was for watercolor. I looked at the book though. The illustrations just aren't my usual style. I know it's making it a green, but you know, what do you expect when you put blue on top of yellow? So we're just using it as a shadow color on one side. There we go. I've been thinking lately about doing one of my illustrations on stream too. Okay. I think that's good enough for there. All right, um, let's see. Let's shift up and let's do this one. Post a new pick of rigs in Discord. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, thanks, Della. Yeah, I had I had a lot of fun with that one. Hang on, I'm gonna pull up, pull up Discord. Oh, Ghost. Ghost, did I totally miss you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss you. <laughs> let's see. Let's look at Rigsy. Oh, his little paws. That's adorable. I love it. It's cute. Okay. Click that. There we go. There we go. Trying to work. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's cool. Bye, Don. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So let's do, let's do hazelnut brown this time. Number 21. Okay, and then we'll do our sienna brown again. Just popped in. Okay, well, good. Then I don't, I don't feel as bad. I would have been like, oh my gosh, did I completely miss you? <laughs> I try not to, but sometimes it's, hard. it's funny. Like there was even a time where I missed something that Steve said in chat. So you know that if I, if I miss, you know, my my life partner's chat, then definitely don't take it personally if I ever miss your chat because I don't do it on purpose. Let's see, I'm gonna color this part as a little bit brown too. I, it's probably not, but I'm making it. 
that color. Okay, then let's use a little bit of that sienna brown. Giving you a rigs fix? I love it. Everybody should have a rigs fix. All right, we're gonna go over with the sienna brown here and we're definitely gonna bring in some of that gold. And maybe some cocoa brown too. Let's use our dark gold, which was number 59. That's this one here. Ev, thank you. I get some hypes in chat for Ev. Exclamation point hype. For that, F. Those handy dandy hype emotes. Takes us one step closer to our Bob Ross stream. <laughs> uh, so, for those of you that are getting a membership today, it'll probably go through here in a little bit. Um, don't forget tomorrow, check out the, the community tab. You'll have this free coloring page. Uh, up on the tin tomorrow. It's a little latte and stack of cupcakes. You also have access to all of the handy dandy emotes. Uh, if I'm perfectly honest, uh, Ghost, it did not agree with me and I stopped taking them. <laughs> it's honestly like, it was mostly for the shakes and like, it was just making things worse. And I was just like, nah, this this is not for me. So I started feeling quite a bit better after, uh, after I stopped. My favorite medium? Hmm, probably, I don't know, I think it depends, but I mean, if I were to choose my favorite based on what I use the most, it would probably be pencil, for sure. But yeah, it was not suiting me, and I said, mm, I think I'm done with this, and chose not to do it anymore. But I can at least tell the neurologist that I gave it a shot. But there's no point in taking something if it just, if it doesn't solve your problem, and it makes you miserable. <laughs> me too working in nature mandalas not sure if my background it's going to be or if i want to do anything more with it you know lately i have not been doing that many backgrounds i find that like when i do it i'm just like okay i'm done now this is good you want to try ink tints on once again i like your illustration because they're not super cluttered oh awesome misplaced my paper oh uh the migraine one was uh nurtech i love it it's absolutely wonderful and it has zero and this is Emily Illustrator is not promoting any kind of medication. I'm just telling you what works for me. There we go. That's my disclaimer. Um, <laughs> but I love it because it, uh, as long as I take it when I have a full stomach or I eat a full meal, like toast doesn't, doesn't cut it. Like I need to have literally be full. But if I take it on a full stomach, uh, it has zero side effects. If I take it on an empty stomach, I'm nauseous for like 24 hours. But... I, it's been a long time since I've had a headache that's like knocked me off my feet completely, like unable to function. And uh, it's that that's been helping. Oh, Zoom Zoom, thank you. <laughs> I get distracted. Oh, awesome, Missy, I'm glad. All right, we're using our itty bitty blender. I think you're right though. I think we're gonna need to glue some blenders together. Cause I don't want to stop using all these little, these little nubs. Cause eventually everything will be nubs and then I'll have nothing left but nubs. How many times can I say nubs? Um, let's see, let's get deep coffee. Is my coffee gone? Hmm, now I have a couple more sips left. All right, so deep coffee. Let's get a little bit more brown here. There we go. Ooh, Shannon, um, I mentioned earlier, I don't know if you were here lurking or not, but um, I went to Costco for the first time in ages. And you know what they had there? They had, you said the nubs to me. <laughs> um, they had the uh, gluten-free pita bread and the Char brand of gluten-free um, ciabatta rolls. And then that uh, measure for measure flour, the, the King Arthur brand. I was able to get five pounds of it for $9.49. Right, yes, bread. A variation in bread, it's friggin' amazing. <laughs> right, Ev? I'd be like, so what? Ev, Ev you, you, got, you got the goods? <laughs> uh, let's see, let's do rosy beige and jasmine yellow. Let's see, so 67. But yeah, I was so excited. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been here before? Okay, Jasmine Yellow is number 69. There we go. 
Ooh, so sweetie, uh, so Shannon went ahead and removed the message and I am so glad that you are a budding artist and that you are enjoying it and everything. Um, but the fact of the matter is this is technically an adult uh, stream and um, we sometimes talk about adult things. Um, but you know, I recommend that you keep on coloring and and do you know do your art and uh, but technically because you are still young, you, you can't be in chat, but I appreciate you being here. Just, you know, keep, keep doing your art, but I'm sure there are some, uh, some good, some good art stuff on, uh, on YouTube kids. <laughs> really? Do I have to be dairy free? Thankfully, no. Although when I was figuring out, so I'm using the, um, uh, rosy beige right now, when I was figuring out what was my trigger i did cut dairy out initially and hot dang that was hard i love cheese and i'm sorry those those substitutions are just not the same so let's see we're using jasmine yellow now so i was able to put uh i was able to put dairy in because i was also going egg free at the time now the just egg stuff was actually not too bad it was pretty good um but yeah i was just like uh, once i discovered that it was really only the gluten i was relieved it made things so much easier because like Especially when you're trying to find like, I mean, there was vegan stuff out there, but it's just not the same. And I'm sorry, but I love cheese. I love cheese too much to give it up completely. I want to get apricot as well, which is number 17. But the gluten thing has helped quite a bit. But I was just so excited to find that pita bread. Like I actually like, and it's actually like legitimately, like it tastes like pita bread, the texture and everything. I was just like, why is this not like everywhere? Not to mention like the flour. Hello. I basically got like four pounds of flour for free because I was paying $9.29 for three pounds at Target. It was $9.49 for five pounds at Costco. I'm just like, uh, yes. All right. So now apricot. And like I said, not to mention the leggings that they had there in the pants. They're super. And and I slowly want to start upgrading um, our towels because we've had our towels for a long while and we could use some new ones. So every time I go to Costco, I'm going to pick up another towel. The towels are like $7.99 also, but they were super fluffy and like luxurious and everything. So I grabbed two of them. I grabbed two of them and I was just like, I, every time we come here now, I'm just going to pick up one towel and I'm just going to slowly replace all of our old towels for nice, cool new ones. <laughs> Hi, Sheena. Uh, it's the King Arthur measure for measure, right? They have excellent towels. They're so fluffy. Uh, it's the King Arthur measure for measure flower. It's a white bag with some blue labeling on it, but it's so good. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I could not believe the deal. Okay, so I'm gonna use this kind of bronze sleechy metallic gel pen for these little, these little fellas here. But yeah, it was really, really good. I didn't um, get any meat that day though because um, it was really hot out and I was afraid because I had I had to drive a little ways and I was just like, eh, I probably shouldn't get anything too perishable. Um, let's see, we're gonna use a little bit of number 83, which is the dark brown. Uh, so I didn't get anything that was too perishable, but the bread, the flour, like it was awesome. Oh, and they had these little, I um, can't remember the brand, but these little triangle shaped like cinnamon and honey crackers. Not like full on graham cracker size, but enough that it was, um, it, it could be like a graham cracker replacement. I, I should like melt a marshmallow on top. Aw, uh, congrats, Shira. Right? Absolutely. I was just so excited because honestly with bread, there's, there's not that much bread out there that is, you know, as far as variety, uh, that's gluten free. And I was just like, well, dang, man. <laughs> yeah the uh well this is yeah the costco that we went to it's a little ways away from me and so it was just like i went with a friend and we met there and we walked around and we shopped for a bit and it was just like i kept saying thing seeing thing after thing and i was just like oh hello um let's do let's start with the orange red and then let's grab orange which is number five oh, what's up that four Number five, and then let's grab yellow ochre, which is number three. Do I have that hour? No, here we go. Oh yeah, absolutely not. No, we're not gonna get our old ones, but we've literally had, I mean, Steve and I have been married for, gosh, over a decade. 
A while. We've been married for a while. Well, now wait a minute. What year is this? Hang on. Oh, we just had our 13 year. Have you tried Ezekiel bread? I have not. Ah, no worries, Annette. We'll tell your mom I said happy birthday. Um, and we got these really nice towels um, as a wedding gift. So we're talking like over a decade old towels and they, you know, held, held up pretty well. But now we're just finally like, it'd be nice to get some new ones. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually, it's still, it's been really humid, but we've been having a lot of rain. Okay, so now we're gonna use the orange red. Um, but anyway, so now I'm just gonna slowly, and then we'll pack away the towels that aren't really great anymore and use them for, you know, it's always good to have old kind of, old towels around for what, you know, whatever jobs you still need them for. Yeah, exactly, they're so nice and fluffy. Because you can also do where you can cut them up into squares and then hem them. And then you have washcloths as well. For, you know, like little hand towels for cleaning things up. Doesn't have to be anything for anything fancy, but, you know, for absorbing messes or whatever else. You know, when you got kids, it's always nice to have extra, extra mess towels. But yeah, these are super, like, thick and fluffy and awesome. And I'm just like, all right. I'll just slowly replace all of them. Every time I go, I'll get, you know, like a towel or two and eventually we'll have a whole new set of towels. But I definitely want to go back and get more of their, uh, more of their leggings because they're incredibly comfortable. Nah, see, there we go. They're all coming in now. Yeah, there's a, uh... oh, Ezekiel bread isn't gluten-free? Mm, yeah, there's also a Sam's Club near us as well. We had a Sam's Club membership for a while, number five, but this was back when the membership was like a hundred bucks for the year. Um, and we got it because the kids were still in diapers. But then we realized that it was actually cheaper just to order diapers on Amazon through the subscribe and save because there was also like this mom thing uh, that I was signed up for. Um, and so when you do like the subscribe and save and have five items, that was like, was 5% off for the mom thing and then 15% off for the five items. And it just made it uh, so much easier because then the diapers were just shipped straight to the house. And so I was like, well, there's no point in keeping the Sam's Club membership if it costs the same as an Amazon Prime membership and we get the diapers for cheaper. So it was at that point that we stopped doing it. Oh yeah, there you go, Bonnie. The white washcloths, a huge stack there. Ooh, maybe I'll have to look for that too. Oof, Della. Yeah, it's actually cooled down for us a little bit. Coming to the table when our granddaughter wants to paint. Oh, that's a good idea. Bar and stuff, yep. Hi, Fabiola. Welcome. I don't know. I think I'm, like, willing for it to be... For it to be, uh, fall already. I had Steve look to see if they had any kind of, like, pumpkin flavor creamer. But look, I didn't do... I didn't do the Halloween nails. I actually kind of went opposite and I ended up trimming my nails really short. I, I broke a nail and then it was like, it was short and I was just like, yeah, we're just gonna leave them all short. Every now and then I like to trim, trim my nails back a little bit and let them grow fresh. All right, I'm just using the white Prismacolor because that came out a little bit vibrant. We're going to do that. And then we're gonna grab our amethyst a little bit here. Okay, and we're gonna use it for a little bit of shadow. There we go. But yeah, and then we got Friday coming up and it's already the weekend. I am looking forward to it. Okay, I don't think I want to bring this. We'll put a little bit under the flower petals, but I don't think we'll bring it real heavy all the way around. There we go. All right, and then we've got this flower, which I guess I assumed that the petals were... Uh, so when you... So she gifted five, and it kind of doles out as it goes along. Is it on the... Is it on the little money symbol? Gosh, I don't even know how you do it. It's probably, I probably can't do it from where I'm at. Hang on. Now I'm curious. <laughs> I gotta mute myself here so that you guys don't hear double. Okay, mute. I think when you click the join, maybe it gives you the option. 
Mm, yeah, I don't know. Oh, from the little, oh, yeah, there it is, from the money thing, and then it says membership and membership gifting. It's so cool that they started doing that. It was a, it was a good uh, promotion for Twitch, and I love that you guys have been all been a part of it, because now all of you that got memberships today, the next month's coloring page is going up tomorrow, so this is going to be a free coloring page for uh, all the members, plus you have all the emotes and discounts when I have new stuff in the Etsy store. No worries, Marcy, thanks for popping in. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, do I want to do a blue flower? No, let's do kind of a pinky flower, but real light pink. Okay, so we're going to do number 12. This one is peony pink. Okay. I don't know what we'll do this weekend, though. Surprisingly, we don't have like a bunch of birthday parties to go. Last weekend was so busy. I was exhausted at the end of Saturday. I was just like, well, I'm just going to sleep for a week. Oh, thank you, Shannon. <laughs> this is why I have you. Ooh, oven roasted pizza. Ice necklace type things should be, oh, fun. Uh, on the computer, yeah, I didn't see it on mobile. And I think we'll add a little bit of amethyst to this too. There we go. We're just doing the peony pink at the moment because we are making this any color we want. She is. No, I appreciate it because I literally would have like, if no one had said anything, I would not have noticed like at all. I always forget to zoom back in. It's a struggle, man. Then we're going to add cream and then we're going to do, well, I guess in my head I'm thinking of cream, but uh, jasmine yellow, which is number 69. And then we'll add the purple. So... Add the yellow all the way through. Nice simple fill in here. And then we're going to add the amethyst. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so number 15. Just a little bit here. And then we're actually going to go over this with the white, lighten it just a bit. Inside, as it kind of goes around, the color shifts a little bit. There we go. All right, and now let's go ahead and do our white. Exactly. It's, it's seriously, yeah. That's, I, don't, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have you and you and Kenny. Gotta have someone remind me. All right, this is gonna smooth it out just a little bit. I will say the mark art works really well with the white Prismacolor. I bet you that I could mix the brands and get a pretty decent result. Which I know, saying that I'm gonna mix brands, for me, that's like, whew, who, who even am I? All right, so we're gonna do number 21, which is, what is 21? 21 is hazelnut brown for the middle of the flower. There we go. And then let's do, what is this one? This one is 50 golden yellow. There we go. And then lemon yellow, which is number 49. There we go. And we're gonna use our blender for that one. Yeah, it does. Like normally I, I'm not like, oh yeah, mix these brands. Cause you guys know me, I like to stick with my one brand, but it actually does mix really well for it. There we go. Little, little flower. All right, let's shift up group and let's see how many we got done. That's seven. Ooh, but you know what? My OCD is going to bother me if like we do these ones, but then like leave this one. Like it's just in here. Let's do this little honeycomb one here. So let's do, let's do, ooh, copper. Copper is a good color. That is number 86. There we go. Copper and let's see. Water-based markers this weekend, just so I could do the effect I wanted on a picture. Any excuse to buy more art supplies, right? No, you know what I want to play with more? Um, Upcrate sent this to me and I haven't played with them a ton, but I thought they were really cool. And they were the Equaline um, brush pens, but 
I don't know, like you could blend them and stuff. I did the review on it and I thought it was pretty cool, but I want to get some more of these. I think they'd be really fun to use. Ah, oh, there we go. I think that's all the five there. All right, because it was taking a little while to catch up, but welcome Yuki and Hime. All right, so let's see, uh, number 86, and then we'll do Raw Sienna, number 84, 85. 85, do I have that out on? I didn't think I'd use that one. Is that that? 84. Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong page. Ha ha. 85. There we go. 85 and turmeric yellow, which is number 29. 29. There we go. Let's see. Am I on a coffee? Now I am. <laughs> Honestly, whoever invented coffee was a genius. I think that's kind of what inspired uh, inspired the drawing. I was just like, oh, I'll draw a cup of coffee. And a stack of cupcakes. So that sounds pretty good. And we'll sharpen this one real quick. Oh, nice, tech gal. All right, so ch 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 number 86 is what we're gonna start with. It's so bright. Is 86 the one that I wanted? Yeah, it's copper, okay. We might do a little bit of a cooler brown for some shadows on here, or maybe a little bit of blue. But this is like a honeycomb candy, right? Ooh, yeah, exactly. I almost thought about doing uh, alcohol markers in here just briefly. Probably could have done it as like a base. Honestly, I have just a long list of work in progresses that I want to get done. I actually have a running list over on my whiteboard for ones that we, I said I was going to finish off stream. So I have a list running on there of ones that I need to, need to finish up because I want to, I want to see the, you know, the final results. I mean, we got the Inky Ivy, I've got a Hannah one, I've got, I got a bajillion. <laughs> all right but i like this because we can just do as many little ones as we want so a little bit on this honeycomb i just feel like sometimes there just is not enough time to do all the things that's all it is okay then we're gonna go ahead and use number Number 85, which is the raw sienna. Yeah, we definitely want a darker brown with this too for that shadow. Probably a little bit of blue, but definitely want to darken it up a little bit. But I mean, it was honeycomb. We knew it was going to need to be like kind of a yellowish color. And then, <laughs> oh, Aaron, I've got so many. It's not even funny. Like it's it's a serious like, like feat when I actually finish someone. Um, I showed some of you at the beginning. I'll zoom out real quick. I finally did my New Year's uh, resolution and I finished my first diamond painting. So sparkly, I went and picked up a frame for it at, uh, at Hobby Lobby. But yeah, it's just a 12 by 18 one, but it's sparkly. And it's finished. It was the uh, Arteza one that I started. But I was pretty proud of myself. I had uh, Steve come over and and uh, watch me put in the last drill. <laughs> Ooh, baklava. I love baklava. Done with marker because I wanted a Victorian look nice. Rye Ev, it's so exciting. I think it's the first time I've ever accomplished like actually finishing a New Year's resolution. <laughs> It's a big deal. All right, film the rest of that in and let's use yellow umber. Thanks. Yeah, I was pretty proud. All right, so yellow umber number 100. Okay. Yeah, the like, cause I definitely prefer um, alcohol over water-based markers for sure. Thanks, Kenny. All right, so we're using this yellow umber here. 
inside the honeycomb for a bit more a bit more shadow there we go i was just so pleased to finally finish it and i'd love to finish my other uh diamond art club ones like i think i'm really gonna enjoy it when they're done they're just very they're very time consuming it's hard to get as much done as you would like all right, let's go ahead and grab that copper again. Got a good use for leftover rhinestones from diamond paintings. Um, I went ahead and just put my extra ones because there were a lot of extra ones uh, in this little box that I had. But the cool thing about the Arteza ones is that they already came pre-labeled in their little baggies. But yeah, my extras just live in the... I was like, oh, extra box, that works. Too big. Well, that's fair. I mean, mostly there's just that key. There's the key on the side and you match it up and then you just put all the pieces in. But um, it's definitely time consuming. I feel like it's kind of like uh, paint by numbers meets jigsaw puzzle. That's that's what I would that's what I would categorize it as. All right. Lemon yellow. I want to get a little bit brighter yellow in some of this. Let's do it for the top. But it can be, it can be tedious. Did I knock the drills over a few times? Absolutely. Right? Thank you. All right, let's use a little bit of the indigo number 33. Okay, I had to have a chuckle though. I had to have a chuckle and I explained this to Steve because I distinctly remember there was a conversation that we were having, you guys. Um, I can't remember if it was on my channel or it might've been someone else's channel. But we were talking about it means that you're a real diamond painter when you're done. <laughs> That's a bulb of garlic. Miss Scones, I can't unsee that now. <laughs> um, but it means that you're a real diamond painter when you get done and you find drills like stuck to you. Legitimately, I had one that had somehow gotten onto my shirt and I was getting changed for bedtime that night and there it was just stuck to me and I was just like, oh, I guess I'm part of the crowd now. <laughs> uh, a mystery diamond painting. What does that mean for the mystery one? Like, don't you have a picture to see what the finished one is? Or is it like one of those ones that uh, Diamond Art Club sends and you just don't know what it was that they're sending you? Or is there no picture like to come with it? How does the mystery one work? The funny thing is, is later, like <laughs> the next day, Steve had one like stuck to his leg. Right, Aaron? I know. I was just like, oh, well, I guess I, I fall under that category now. Right? They're just so tiny. It's like, how did you even get here? Okay, I'm going to use number 99, which is that Sienna Brown. There we go. Okay, even if we were to stop right now, my OCD is happy that we did like two full rows. Okay, now I'm gonna allow us to go <laughs> up and do this one. Let's see, let's get deep coffee number 90. Let's see, that's 190, here we go. <laughs> They're so crazy where they get stuck. Hi, Ronnie. You should, you should. Like I said, it, it took a little bit of discipline to just sit down and get it finished. I mean. I wish I could have like timed myself to see how many hours it actually took me to uh, to get it done. But it was just, and again, I know it's a small one, just a 12 by 18, but there was definitely a sense of accomplishment having finished it. Because, you know, I used to think like, oh, what's the big deal with diamond painting? You know, it doesn't take, I mean, it's right. It doesn't take a ton of skill. You're just, you know, placing things where they're meant to be placed. But the accomplishment in it is like when you do a puzzle, it's the time that it took to complete it and the fact that you actually finished it. So it's just like, okay, I can appreciate the work that it takes to, you know, get these done. It's just a white canvas with codes on it. Oh, snap. Where did you did you get that one at Diamond Art Club or where did you get a full on mystery one? Cuz that seems exciting. But also like hard at the same time because there's no separate colors. That's interesting. Does it take you longer because they're not, uh, it's not color coded? Yeah, like I said, I wanna finish the ones from Diamond Art Club that I have. It's just, it's a feat, you know? 
But before I finish the one that I bought, I really want to finish the one that Belinda sent. I mean, she sent that one a couple years ago, and I have been I have been chipping away at that one for a while. It's not that I don't enjoy it. I do. It's just they take me a long time to do. Like, I am not fast at them by any means. Okay, so that was the... Okay, cool. With a huge one with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh, I love it. Oh, absolutely, Ev. That's fun. All right, Chocolate Brown, which is number 24. 24, here we go. <laughs> it would make sense if you were like wearing a skirt or something and it fell on your seat. I, I get it. I could see how that could happen. And they really are like stuck to you. Yes, exactly. Easy, just incredibly time consuming. Yeah, like a jumbo color by number. But I get too why it's so enjoyable. Like at first I was really hesitant to do them at all because first of all, I know how much my hands shake and I was just so sure I was gonna dump all the drills on the ground. Which I wouldn't say that I've dumped the drills on the ground, but I have spilled them all over the desk. Um, near the end of it, I had two different grays and I put them in the same bag. So I was like, okay, I don't need this other darker gray anymore. I had finished that, but I did need the lighter gray. And I was like, I could spend the time sorting out the light grays or I could just only grab. But that's the problem though, is when it's accidentally mixed in with a bunch of others, it's harder for you to do large group grabs of the color. And so I was just like, eh. So that one was a lesson learned to actually pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, uh, gold, I think. A little bit yellower than I would have liked, but that's okay. I think we'll grab a warmer brown. You've never done a diamond painting. I would say start with a small one. Start with a small one for sure if you're gonna do it. Joanne's has some really good small ones just to give you an idea of, you know, like what it's like and the time thing. But it's kind of like when I do the crocheting. Like obviously there's skill in knowing how to do the knots, but you know, it's a little time consuming. I mean, this little one square that I made for a washcloth, I mean, it took about two hours. Again, I need to trim that off, but I mean, this by itself just took two hours. I think this was a double crochet or double, I don't know. I don't remember the names. Here's the thing. I don't remember the names of the stitches that I do. Same thing with sewing. I just know how to do them. I don't know if there's a name for that kind of person, but I could not teach you crocheting. I couldn't. I could show you how to do it, but I couldn't I couldn't tell you the names of the stitches that I'm doing by any means. Um, let's see. Sienna Brown. Like I've I've taught a uh, little Emily how to crochet. We're still working on turning and doing a second layer. Goes to see him, Bob Ross. We are at, I don't think that this number down in the right hand corner is accurate because I don't know if it counted today's. We are at, what does it say? Hang on. Is it 200 is going to be Bob Ross? <laughs> I didn't want to get addicted. There you go. Oh, you know, it's, it's correct. Okay, we're at 88. Well, it helps too when you have a smaller, maybe here at the end, I can show you guys, cause I started my next washcloth. I can show you how I do it real quick. I don't think I'd ever do like a full crocheting stream. Actually, I will tell you, there is a part of me that would like this channel at some point to become a bit of a variety like craft channel. Cause I do enjoy doing a lot of things, but I know a lot of people are here for using Sienna Brown for the adult coloring. So I'm hesitant to really do all of it, but like, you know how, um, like Nerdy Crafter, she does a lot of different things. You know, whether it's reviewing stuff or crafts or whatever else. It would be nice to eventually do that and have the same audience retention as I do with this. So I think if I do introduce any other crafts, it'll be a slow, a slow introduction. Yeah, there are, but I could not, I couldn't build, I couldn't put together my own Joanne thing, like, or my own um, diamond painting. I don't think I'm anywhere near that skilled to do it. Um, let's do a little bit of green on top. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do number 46. 
Like, you know, Jazza's channel, he does like a little bit of everything. Now, granted, Jazza has an entire studio behind him, and I, I, I'm pretty sure he's at the point in his career where he probably doesn't do his video editing anymore, and he's probably at the stage where he just gets to do the fun stuff, which is great. You know, he, he, he earned that ability to do that. He's worked very hard to get where he's at, but that would be nice someday to get to that kind of stage. It'd be fun. Okay, let's see. How dark is this? I don't know that I want to do that one. Let's do this sleechy green. Bye, Alex. Have fun adulting. What? Oh, Ev. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be exciting. Oh, maybe we'll do a special diamond painting stream where we do the uh, where we do the mystery one. Oh, you are sweet. Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna use the green. Sorry, I got quiet for a second because I was concentrating on the uh, on the gel pen. <laughs> there we go. And a little bit there. But it's interesting though, teaching little Emily about the crocheting, just because there's things that I realize that I automatically do that like I need to put into words to explain. Uh, let's just do green there and explain to her how to do it. There, that one's all pretty and shiny. Ah, but it's fun. Okay, so we just finished that chocolate and we have like 10 minutes left. First of all, let's zoom out and look at this. Look at all the chocolate treats. They're so yummy. And the cool thing is, is like there's nothing that says we can't pick up and do the other seven chocolates too. We did nine, I think. All right, I'm gonna move this to the side real quick. I'm gonna grab my little crocheting bag because it is just right here. I keep everything in like a little canvas tote bag so I can just grab it when I, uh, when I go to pick up the kids. So I've got, I've got this little box that I take with me everywhere. Oh, nice. I've got this little box that I take with me everywhere. And in it, I keep any scraps of yarn. Cause sometimes I need like small little pieces for something I'm doing. Um, but I've got the scraps of yarn and then I have extra crochet hooks in here. I don't use these teeny tiny ones. Um, very often. I like these ones with the handles. These ones are more decorative. They came with like a little um, yarn bowl. Um, but I always keep, I always keep these little, little scissors. They're super handy. I'm always afraid one of these days I'm gonna stab myself though when I do that. But these are really handy. And then you use these yarn needles to weave in. For kid, you buy it on the panel it comes with though, some website. Yeah, there are some custom ones. Yeah, for sure. Um, so then this one is when you want to weave in the end of the yarn, but when you're making washcloths or pot holders, you need to get, um, a hundred percent cotton. So like, this is the one that I got at Hobby Lobby. This little small skein of yarn was only, uh, 229, um, but they have slightly larger ones at Joann's that I get. So there's this, this is what's left of the color from that washcloth that I also did. Um, I also hold on to like some plain blue, which will probably be the border for that one. But usually, usually whatever you're doing will tell you the size uh, hook that you need. So on the back of it, for anybody who is new to this, come on, you're gonna focus. There we go. And I'll go a little bit closer so you can see it. There we go. Okay, so it shows you here, if you're knitting, these are the size. Now I can't knit for the life of me. Um, for the knitting, this is what you need for knitting needles, but this one, it says a five, five millimeter crochet hook and it tells you, you know, how long it is because generally that gives you an idea. Like if you're making a blanket, how many skeins you need to get, because here's the thing you want to get, if you're making something large, whether it's a washcloth, a blanket, whatever else, um, and you want to have the exact same yarn for the entire thing, you want to look for the lot numbers, which is this. And you want to make sure that you're buying the same lot numbers because kind of like when you mix paint, you'll never get, you should, Ronnie, um, you, you never necessarily, you never, sorry, words, hard. Um, the colors aren't ex always exactly the same. So if you're buying for a large product, make sure that you buy what you need at the time and make sure the lot numbers match because you will most likely be able to have the correct color throughout the entirety of the blanket. Um, or, you know, whatever large project, but for washcloths, they're super great because they don't take that long and they're a great starting thing. Um, scarves are always good too, cause it's just, you know, straight crocheting. But anyway, so for these particular yarn, it says a five millimeter. So what I have that I'm using, 
It usually has written on, let's see, are we still in focus here? Okay, so you see this says a 6.0 uh, millimeter. You can see the size difference between these two though. I'm trying to stay in focus, sorry, I know the shaking. Um, the next lot, same color will be different. Yeah, yep, exactly. Uh, then you see on this one, if you can get in focus. Okay, so you see how this one says uh, six to four millimeter? Well, I guess it says G6 to four. Anyway, this is the one that I chose because for what I have, uh, it was as close to the five and I'm not gonna go out and buy a new crochet hook. So let's see, let's get this in focus here. Come on. Are you gonna focus for, there we go. Okay, so I started this one already. And like I said, I don't know, I don't know the names of it. Maybe I can, maybe you guys can tell me now. I know my hands are shaking. So like teaching crocheting is not something I should be doing. Um, but I did one row of single, single crochets. I know that. <laughs> so let's get this in focus real quick. And for the length of the washcloth, so this one is the border I put on last. So obviously these are the rows that I did. So this one is about, oh, what is it? About nine inches, about nine inches. But washcloths, honestly, you can make them as wide as you want. I think I wanted to, yeah, this one's gonna be about the same width. And so you chain and then you go down and then um, you turn it around. And then for this one, Yeah, my hands are, are, I don't notice it as much like when I'm in the car, but so for this one, I am, this is how like I hold it, where I'll hold it between my two fingers. Let's get this back in focus here. Come on, please focus, please focus. Is it not gonna focus? See if I open my whole hand. What do heck? Okay, it does not want to focus today. I don't know what its deal is. Hey, button, hello. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll hold it down. I don't know what it's doing. Right, it just, it does. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so I hold it, make sure that I keep the lines taut and everything, and I bring it under and around, and yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this on stream today. I'm looking at this and this is, not working, but anyway, I bring it through, pull it through, and pull it through. And honestly, I get a pretty good, um, no, I can't do this right now. When I'm in the car, I get a pretty good rhythm going and it doesn't bother me as much, but it is pretty fun. Sorry, I just realized that my hands are, I'm not sitting like at the right height because usually I let my hands like sit in my lap while I'm doing it. And it's not gonna work for that today. <laughs> but anyway, it's fun. We could also do like a sewing stream at one point too. That could be fun. Sorry, it's bothering me that it's not. Yeah. Of course, now it's focusing. Anyway, too many colors, right? There's a lot of colors, but uh, yeah, usually I'm sitting in the car while I'm doing it and I get a rhythm going. I had to show up to the car pickup line early the other day and I was waiting for like an hour and a half. Um, and yeah, got all the crocheting done. Anyway, I think we're gonna wrap this up here so I can go get some lunch and everything. It's 11.57. <laughs> Seriously, if I just learned anything, it's that I cannot do crochet on stream. I need it to be able to like sit in my lap. I need to sit lower. Um, but anyway, Evelyn, thank you for those gifted memberships. Joanna, thank you for your studio chat and thank you for your gift, Joanna. Oh, don't forget, I had that. So we're gonna figure out what to do with this pink is pink. Uh, members, the new coloring page is going to go up tomorrow, so make sure you snag yours. Um, the link will be there on the community tab on YouTube, so feel free to check that out. Um, and we will do something new on Friday. I don't know. I'll surprise you. Certainly won't be crocheting. It'll be something else. <laughs> anyway, all right, ladies and gents, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will chat with you all at the start of the weekend. You should. You should, absolutely. 100% uh, cotton if you're making pot holders or washcloths. Otherwise it shrinks or won't scrub well or whatever else, but yeah, we're starting to get a whole collection of washcloths because it's easy and it keeps my hands busy. Anyway, all right, everyone, have a great rest of your week. I'll see you on Friday. Keep being awesome. If I can click the right buttons. <laughs> Bye.